Name, image, likeness. Three words that to many means nothing. But for the top collegiate athletes of today, is changing the landscapes of their careers. In this series, we'll explore how the legends of tomorrow are shaping their careers today, navigating the nuances of NIL in their careers, all in an effort to secure the bag. Women's basketball is the second highest earning group in NIL endorsements, trailing just behind football. Part of that 18.5% is Stanford guard Haley Jones. 2021's Final Four Most Outstanding Player and projected top three WNBA draft pick. She led her team to their first NCAA championship since 1992. But who is Haley Jones off the court? It's a great first question. Um, I'd say Haley Jones is somebody who is unapologetically herself. I'm somebody who is never gonna step in the room and be a wallflower. I'm gonna advocate for myself, for those around me. I just owe it all to my teammates. They have confidence in me, um, even when I don't have confidence in myself, so. But I just owe it all to them. This team is so close, and I'm just so happy to be there with this type of squad. I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a lot of everything. Raised in Santa Cruz, the WNBA prospect graduated from Archbishop Mitty High School, but she was named a McDonald's All-American and the Naismith Prep Player of the Year. Haley was not only a five-star recruit out of high school, she was also ranked the number one recruit in 2019 by ESPN. And since then, she racked up a few more accolades. Before she became one of the most dangerous guards on the court, the Stanford Cardinal did it all. I did everything imaginable. Gymnastics, I was on the swim team, I was a junior lifeguard, soccer, volleyball, softball, I was pretty awful at that, so I didn't last too long. But it was basketball that grabbed her attention with a little help from mom slash high school coach, Monique Jones. You know, I always dreamt that there would be things that basketball could do for Haley, but I wasn't ever one of those parents that counted on a sport as her way out. Um, I thought the biggest thing for Haley for her way out was for her brain. But I knew that basketball was gonna give her an avenue to get to places and open more doors for her. Basketball was a way for me to create the rest of my life, so, if it opened the door to Stanford, one of the best universities in the world, I'm gonna end up with a degree, make these insane connections that I'm still making now. How, how could you not choose that? She's right. How could you not? WNBA athletes are, what, making $50,000? I mean, if they could get a few hundred K, that's like a super win for them. No one is giving them the millions of dollar contracts that they're giving to the male athletes. And it doesn't mean that it's based on their lack or inability to properly perform because the girls are playing, right? So I do think that when we look at name, image, and likeness, it may help to bridge that financial gap. NIL opportunities are helping women to expand their earning potential, especially when compared to their male counterparts. WNBA rookies drafted first through fourth in 2021 received approximately $70,000 in base salary, while eight million went to the number one NBA draft pick that same year. I think showing the followings that we have and the people that do care is only gonna grow the game because then you're like, oh, you know, she got this deal. Let me watch her play. How good is she? Which, in effect, ends up bringing more viewership to our game, and then people start to respect it more. Closing the financial gap with NIL deals isn't a quick fix. So for now, Haley is focused on investing in her future and the future of black girls everywhere by building a brand on her own terms. This is not a four-year decision. This is a 40-year decision. Being one of the most successful college athletes in the country gave Haley an advantage when the 2021 ruling went into effect. Rather than diving headfirst into the surplus of offers flooding in, Haley took her time to carefully plan a strategy that would stay true to her name and values. Taking it slow allowed me to, one, educate myself on what it is, and we kind of decided to take this conservative approach where I wanted to find an agency who can really navigate the waters because it's all great, but it's also, I'm, I'm still in college. I still have classes. After an intensive hunt for an agency that understands both college and professional athletes, Haley signed with PRP, an experienced full service sports management company who represent clientele like Shaquille O'Neal and Jason Tatum. With an agency in place, Haley launched her corporation to build her brand and business off the court. I'm really enjoying learning what I want out of it, creating my brand, finding my own voice in this space. 
and just kind of creating it early than I would have needed to in the past, create a relationship with my agent. So by the time this is all that I'm doing, I'm ready for it. You know, I'm prepared, you know, finding those people that are gonna be around, getting my support system right. In her first year of eligibility, she's become one of the most marketable players in the game, securing NIL deals with Beats and NBA 2K. I get to talk to these other star athletes. You know, I get to be on set with Candace Parker. I get to be on set with Jason Tatum, all these cool people that I watch on TV. Like, it's crazy. So being in that atmosphere with this huge shoot going down, it was definitely kind of like, okay, like this is the world I'm entering. And also kind of like a moment of reassurance where like, this is where I want to be. I want to do more things like this. In less than a year, Haley and her team landed a ton of partnerships and revenue opportunities. I said yes to these brands because I use these brands. I am interested in them for what they stand for, what they put across to their audiences, and I use Beats headphones. I love curly hair care and Uncle Funky's daughter. I used it before I even started working with them. My brand being authenticity, I'm not gonna try to sell something that I don't even use. I think that's very transparent. When we're looking at what deals Haley's gonna take, it has a lot to do with what matches up with Haley's brand, what matches up more with what Haley is passionate about. When I talk about being a black female, as wanting to be a role model, she's actually one of those athletes that wants to take on that role of being a role model. The brands that she aligns with have to align with the people that she's trying to speak to. Having her mom to help navigate NIL has been a game changer for how Haley approaches new opportunities. She's assertive, she, she's very blunt. She's also a huge mama, very, very protective. With her mom and agency by her side, Haley's 40-year plan is well underway. And like she said, part of that plan is staying true to herself, whether that makes or breaks a deal. I look to inspire the next generation with this authenticity to be who you are and be unapologetic for who you are. Showing that you can be all these different things that you want to be and you don't ever have to be limited just because of who you are, you know? Whether it's because of your race, your gender, whatever it may be, those things aren't going to limit you. Haley is looking at herself as, I'm not just the person who wants to open the door for the other athletes. I want to knock down the door. I want to knock down these barriers because I want to make it for myself, but I also want to make it for all of my other black female athletes, but also the generation that's coming in behind me. NIL is changing the face of women's sports, giving them larger platforms and offering more ways to make a name for themselves. When it comes to all the opportunities that are here for these student athletes, specifically black women, I'm just beyond excited. I'm here for it. This should have happened a long time ago. We're just starting to be able to scratch the surface. As NIL pushes college athletics into a new era, Haley Jones is at the forefront, building a future where everyone can thrive. The student, daughter, sister, baller, entrepreneur. Haley isn't defined by her status as an elite athlete or her brand deals. She is so much more. At the end of the day, basketball is something I do. It's not who I am. And what I'm building is about who I am.